Welcome back to the ride share hub. The coolest kids are in our club. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the ride share hub. I'm Jacob Letman. Sweet video coming at you guys today. Before we get started, I'd love to help save you some money on your fuel fill ups. You like that? Sounds nice, right? Here's all you got to do. Here's what you got to do. All you got to do is scroll down. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep that cursor rolling. Right. Yeah. Uh, until you hit the video description below. You're going to see a link there. Click on it. It is for the Get Upside app. Click on it. Download it. Get that app on your phone. Use our sign up code. Save 15 cents per gallon on your initial fuel fill up. So make sure your tank is empty, yo. I'm talking bare bones. Light is on. Might not make it another block empty. And then you'll continue to save money on your fuel fill ups at the participating gas, participating gas stations in your area after that. As long as you have the app. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hey, here's what we got going on today, you guys. Uh, I'm talking about why drivers so many drivers getting deactivated these days hopefully not you we don't want that to happen to you that's also why we have this video right so we're talking about why drivers are getting deactivated from uber and lyft how to avoid that so that you can keep driving keep earning keep being cool out there christmas is coming up so you want to have cash so you can get all those sweet gifts for those people out there that you care about all right so uh, let's let's do this thing um, I got a whole list here. Are you ready? Let's just jump right into it. All right. So first of all, a reason that you can get deactivated is because of cancellations. Um, Uber and Lyft, they don't look at acceptance rate as heavily anymore. Uh, maybe overall as, uh, yeah, anyway, they don't look at acceptance rate very closely but cancellations they do because that hurts their image right um, if you're continually accepting ride requests and then canceling them that just kind of it you know it makes a passenger have to go through more effort blah 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 it's a whole thing so that is a thing that you could get deactivated for cancellation so just pay attention to that um, faux show your documents got outdated. I've been very close, down to the last wire, the last 12 minutes before they could be accepted, but I got them in. Uh, so documents that you need to have that are updated, uh, driver's license, insurance. What else? Jeez. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, you got to go, you know, once a year, you got to have your vehicle checked out. You got to do that. Uh, what else can expire? Yeah, driver's license, insurance. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and then... Oh, your vehicle registration. Ha, huh? I knew there was something else. There it is. Okay. So, anyway, you got to keep those updated. If you do get deactivated because you didn't get those in time... Uh, if you submit those, you should be reactivated pretty quickly. All right. So what else? Oh, this is a this is a big one that people forget about. And uh, dang, really, this takes a lot of forethought. If if you haven't bought a vehicle yet, you're looking to do some rideshare driving. Cool. We have videos to talk about what vehicles to look at getting. Um, food for thought on those. We've done the the thinking. You can have the food. Anyway, uh, you want to get a vehicle that is new enough that it won't get deactivated. So just because your vehicle uh, right now is eligible to drive, they're updating that continually. And so you could your vehicle could become ineligible uh, as they up those years, right? So uh, if you haven't bought a vehicle yet, you want to make sure you get a new enough vehicle that you don't have to worry about that for several years down the road. And uh, I think a lot of people overlook that. They think just because their car is eligible when they sign up, it doesn't matter if they update those requirements and your car becomes too old, you will be deactivated. 
and that's that. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah, this one you probably will not be reactivated from if you become deactivated. And that is if Uber or Lyft finds out that you transported a minor. And, uh, yeah, that sucks. That sucks, right? Because I, I don't necessarily know how they would find out about it, but I can't imagine that a parent would be like, here are my kids that I'm not supposed to send with you. And then they find out, and then they're like, oh, I'm going to call and turn you in. Anyway, it's probably not worth risking it. Again, and a minor is any unaccompanied person under 18. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. So driving. Um, dang. I, I think about this. I've definitely sped and uh, probably ran a few red lights accidentally. Not on purpose. It was incidental or like a stop sign. Look, if you drive for a long time, things are going to happen. Most passengers, if you're cool, they're not going to care or report you. But technically, uh, if you get busted for speeding or running red lights or something like that with a passenger, you can get deactivated. Or, you know, the tough thing is if the passenger is, you know, they're, they suck, they're a jerk, and they turn you in for that stuff you're at risk of being deactivated. Uh, for sure this, don't drive under the influence of drugs or alcohol, uh, because if you get pulled over for that, you will become deactivated. Uh, let's see. Ooh, having passenger with drugs or alcohol. Talk about this in some of my other videos. It's totally one of my biggest pet peeves is like passengers that try and get in your vehicle with open containers or I don't know what drugs they would be doing. Like, hopefully they're not shooting up heroin in your back seat. Well, that would be weird, right? Uh, but probably, like, marijuana, I guess. Or, anyway, if you're a passenger out there watching this, be cool. Don't do that. Don't put us in that situation. If we get pulled over, it all falls on us. Uh, you will for sure get deactivated. Okay, uh... This one gets, these get a little hairy because it becomes the passenger's word against your word. And the problem is that most likely Uber or Lyft will default on the side of the passenger, uh, which sucks. And you think because, you know, you're like, hey, this is my vehicle. I have rights too and stuff. Yes, but we are independent contractors we do not have the same rights as employees. And Uber and Lyft have deep pockets with lawyers with deep pockets and good luck taking them to court or suing them. Like, it's you're probably just going to lose. So, I hate to say it, but we're kind of walking on eggshells as drivers. Um, and there are passengers that lie about stuff for whatever reason because they're horrible human beings or whatever it may be. But, uh, you know, like here's one. So violated discrimination policy. So, so race, religion, um, uh, age. You can't be telling old people that you're not giving old people rides because they smell like old people. You got to give them rides still. All right? So you just got to be careful with that. Uh, or if you're not, you know, and if you're a jerk driver and you're like, you're... A weird color. Get out of my vehicle. Or you smell funny. Uh, well, that that's different. Smell, I don't know. That, oof, that's a pet peeve of mine as well. Uh, but anyway, you can't discriminate against people. You can't not give people rides because of discrimination. If they find out, you will be deactivated for that. Uh, here's one. Refusing service animals. Even service gorillas. You got to give them rides. <laughs> That would be crazy to have a service gorilla animal. I really want that for Christmas now. All right, anyway, uh, so service animals, we have to always, always accept them. Um, if you don't, even if you have allergies, even if you have allergies, you still got to do it. So um, just do it. You know, take some allergy pills later. But because if you don't, 
and they call in and tell them, you know, the situation, you're getting deactivated, and you most likely will not get reactivated for that. Sexual comments. Boy, I'm sure, yeah, oh boy. You just be professional. Be professional. That's all I got to say. It's a weird kind of thing, right, being a driver, uh, because... Sometimes uh, the you just if you give a lot of rides, sometimes there's someone that's attracted to you or you're attracted to them, and then there's flirting. Um, but you just gotta you. I would just err on the side of being professional because if you say something and they take it the wrong way, um, or if you accidentally touch them, like ooh, look at I touched your leg, or I hit the brakes and you know stop short. Anyway, I'm just saying be careful. Uh, sexual comments or gestures, that'll get you deactivated. Oh, yeah. Texting and driving. Get yourself a ha good hands-free. Get your, like a magnetic back to your phone. Pop that sucker on. It's the best way to go. Uh, it's easy. You throw it, you know, mag magnets. You know how they work. Easy, right? Uh, anyway, yeah, don't be texting and driving. Also, you want to be careful of like trying to change uh, destination on your phone. Have your passenger do that. Uh, just err on the side of being safe. That way you don't have your phone in your hand at any point while you're driving. That way you don't get reported by a jerk passenger uh, and get deactivated. Uh, your driver rating, when does that matter? Well, this is how you can get deactivated from your driver rating. Uh, it's based on your city's driving driver rating average. So. If the the driver rating average in your city is 4.5 and you drop to a 4.3, probably getting deactivated. So, and, and what does that stem from? Well, that stems from yourself, your attitude, and uh, your vehicle. So driver rating can really plummet. If you're a bad driver, you're an asshole, uh, your car is dirty, your smell is bad, that's be careful of those things. Yeah. So pay attention to that because it does matter. Uh, let's see. If you're a smoker, bro, smoking, token in your car all day long, and then you give some rides. Uh, so even if you are a smoker, you, so you certainly cannot smoke while giving a ride to a passenger. But even if you do smoke, I don't recommend smoking in your vehicle. Um, I've actually, this is a true story. <coughs> Excuse me. I was driving one Saturday, picked this couple up in the oddest place, like kind of the middle of nowhere I was driving. And they were just like on the side of the road, which was weird. And I was a little iffy about it, but it was Saturday during the day. So, and it was a guy and a girl, whatever, uh, picked them up. And the deal was that this lady, they were their previous Lyft driver, they were driving and the car smelled so bad like smoke, the lady's like, you gotta stop, let us out right here. Like, it's too much, I can't handle it. So um, you can get deactivated for that uh, if your car smells like smoke too bad because that's part of the, the passenger experience. Uh, let's see, weapons, right? That Uzi that you've got in your vehicle, probably put that at home or your samurai sword personally i love a good samurai sword and some throwing stars yeah and a whip here's my whip this is what i whip my passengers with yeah yeah my phone charger uh anyway weapons can't have those uh you get found out about that and get deactivated so um and here's a here's a big one uh this i think this is my final point but like, we have to go through a background check, right? So a lot of drivers think that once we get through that initial background check that you're free and clear. You're good to go, my friend. No, it's not true. Uh, they can run those at any time. Um, so they could they could run a background check on you again two years later and see that something changed in your driver history, uh, driving history, like you got pulled over, you got uh, drinking, excuse me, uh, you got like a DUI or something and, uh, or too many traffic violations and you can get deactivated from that. So just cause you pass it initially, doesn't mean you're in the free and clear. All right, you guys, uh, 
Anyway, if you guys have thoughts or feedback or feelings about being deactivated by Uber and Lyft, unfortunately, it can happen a lot easier than we like to think. Um, but think about this kind of stuff. Be the best driver you can be. Until the next time, you guys, drive safe out there, okay?